In this video, we're taking a Dutch train journey with the Nederlandse Spoorwegen or the Dutch Railways. More specifically, I'm interested in the differences between the two types of trains, the Sprinter versus the Intercity. And also, because I love taking train journeys in India, we need to compare the Dutch Railways versus the Indian Railways. Which one is better? Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in India now for more than five years. Did she just say she lives in India? Yes, you heard that correctly. I've lived in India for the past five years and I call Bangalore home. This is my first time being back in the Netherlands in three years and hence I made this series from India to Netherlands to showcase my home country for the people who have been asking me for a while what's the Netherlands really like because that's your home country. If you're curious about the previous episodes I've linked them all down in the description below but for now let's get back to the Dutch railways shall we? I adore train journeys in India. That this is literally the best train journey of my life. I mean look at this. How wonderful is a train journey like this? This is my birth over here. But I think actually my love for train journeys started right here at the station of my hometown Lelystad. Lelystad is a tiny town in the Dutch province of Flevoland but it has a very comfortable train station. There's a small supermarket, a foreign exchange office and some art but my interest would be more with that Burger King as they now serve delicious vegetarian long chicken burgers. Back to the Lelystad train station. There's an elevator and all these gates are entrance gates to the platforms. You can buy a ticket on the spot at the machines next to it but you can also enter with your credit card which I'll show you in a minute. First let's check the train departure times. The large numbers indicate the hours and small numbers the minutes. The days are unfortunately only in Dutch so I hope you can make sense of that. The two main trains that depart from this station are the Intercity and the Sprinter. On this journey of course I'm going to show you how comfortable Dutch trains are and what kind of amenities you can expect but first let's start at the beginning. How do you get in a train or buy a train ticket? There's no reservation process in advance for Dutch trains. You either buy a ticket at the machine, but even easier is to use your credit card and check in directly. At the end of the journey, you do need to check out to prevent extra costs, but I'll show you that when we arrive in Amsterdam. Train journeys in the Netherlands with the Nederlandse Spoorwegen are not cheap, but they are very effective and very efficient. I used to travel by train to college in Amsterdam almost every single day and for this I either had to take the Sprinter which is this train or the Intercity which is allegedly the more comfortable faster version of the Sprinter. But is it really? Let's find out. Boarding the Intercity, the first thing that stands out is the stable and also the trash can near your seats. Also, there are hangers for your coats and plenty of space for your luggage. It looks like a very, very comfortable journey and the views are also quite nice. However, it got really crowded really fast. Looking at the view, the Dutch landscape is either boring or interesting depending on how you choose to look at it. There are no mountains and sometimes you will see cows and in tulip season you can actually see all of the tulip fields so that's definitely a recommendation particularly if you take the train to Lelystad you will see all the tulip fields and the tulip season that is really really fun to see in case you're not interested in the views you can connect to the free train wi-fi it's really a decent speed and you can comfortably catch up on your social media through it it also doesn't require any other login information other than just sticking a box the benefit is that you can track your journey on your phone so you don't miss your station oh look we're already in Almere the intercity only stops in one station on its way to Amsterdam so that's a massive time saver however because of that the train is also more popular and can get easily crowded in my case I was anticipating a crowd at the one station in between and decided to shift places and make some room for other passengers Well, I've settled in and I'm very lucky that I still have a role for myself. Apparently, I picked the train on the peak hour on Sunday and it's just jam-packed. My favorite thing about this intercity is the large foldable table, which is perfect for having your lunch, working on your laptop or reading a book. Also, there's some stored space and plenty of leg space. Very comfortable journey, aside from the crowd. In general, the Dutch trains are pretty good. You can always find a seat. 
However, sometimes during peak hours, you will have to stand because it just gets too crowded. And there have been days where I stood for like two hours in a train and it was very, very uncomfortable. In my opinion, it's still more comfortable taking a train during peak hours than being stuck in traffic in a car or having to find a parking space in Amsterdam, which is a nightmare. At least in a train, you can just read a book or do some work, whereas in a car, you'd constantly have to pay attention on where to drive. I would just recommend you to not travel during peak hours. From what I remember, the Intercity used to be the fancier train because you have these like large tables that fold out in front of you. However, looking at the Sprinter experience I had the other day, I feel they upgraded the Sprinters and there might be some real benefits to prefer that one over just the speed of the Intercity. Hence, in the second part of the video, I'm taking the Sprinter too. So we can compare those two side by side. For now, I have to say the benefits of this Intercity are that it only has one stop on this whole journey from Lelystad Centrum to Amsterdam Centraal which is in Almere Centrum and the rest of the stations are all skipped. On a Sprinter, your journey will definitely take twice as long because the Sprinter stops at every station. So yeah, that takes a longer period of time, but it's very, very productive. I'll get back to productivity in a minute, but first I have to address a massive difference with Indian trains so nobody gets disappointed. You cannot buy food on Dutch trains, nor the Sprinter, nor the Intercity. You can only buy food on some large Dutch train stations. So in general, what we Dutchies do is we take our boterhamme, which is basically a sandwich, and you can't eat it on a train. You are allowed to eat it on a train, but if you're thinking on buying food on the train, mm -mm, that is not going to happen. The train does have a couple of stops, but the stops are quite short. So it's not like you can jump out of the train and buy food like I usually do in India. That does not happen in the Netherlands. If you would like to do that, like buy some food during your train journey, you would have to get off the train, buy some food and then take the next train to your um, final destination. For this journey, my mom was just taking care of me with some old fashioned Dutch sandwiches. And I do have to say I was quite unamused with a short length of a mere 30 minutes of this train journey. I only got a chance to take a few bites of my sandwiches when I already heard this. Well, we've already reached Amsterdam Central Station and I can already hear some people thinking, well, what's the big deal with not buying food on trains with such a short journey? Well, if you're commuting, there are plenty of instances where you either have to choose between starving for the next 30 minutes and be home earlier or wait 30 minutes for the next train and buy some food. Not a fun choice, I can tell you, so some vending machines on the train would greatly help. Time to take the Sprinter and see how comfortable that journey is compared to the fast Intercity. Is it really that inconvenient? Or might it actually be a little productivity hack? Now, the weather today was really good, so it would be really nice to stand outside of the station. However, most of the time it rains in the Netherlands, so it's really nice to just stand inside and be comfortable, sheltered from the rain. Oh look, the Sprinter is already here. I'm so curious how the amenities are different than the Intercity. Welcome aboard the fancy Sprinter train. The Sprinter train stops at all the stations in our journey from Lelystad Central Station to Amsterdam Central Station, which means that this train journey takes me about 60 minutes. That's double the time of the intercity and also the interior looks a little bit more simple. So why would anyone want to take a train that takes them twice as much the time of the faster train and also looks more simple? One of the main reasons why I love train journeys is because you get to enjoy a lot more views than just flying. I don't think you can fly from point A to point B in the Netherlands unless you're maybe taking a helicopter or a private jet or something. But in general, most people travel either by train or by car for long distances. However, I do think in the train, you get to enjoy the views a lot more because you don't have to pay attention just like you have to do in a car. So that's one of the reasons why I also loved train journeys. And maybe that's also why I got hooked on train journeys during my college days, because I can just stare endlessly out of the windows and get lost in my own thoughts. It's almost therapeutic, I would say. I literally am just seeing a windmill. It doesn't get more Dutch than that.
The interior may look simple, but honestly, it is very effective and there is really more than meets the eye. I'll get back to the amenities in a little bit, but the biggest benefit for me to take the Sprinter is because a lot less people take it, so it's a lot less crowded. Hence, if you do want to get some work done, it is more productive to sit in this train. The Intercity is definitely faster, but I do feel the Sprinter definitely has some benefits. First of all, the power outlets. It allows you to work during your journey. I pretty much finished 40% of my law school in the train commuting between my home in Lelystad and Amsterdam Central. I think that's just very very productive. Also there are quite some good amenities in the sprinters like for instance a rack for your luggage, there are coat hangers, there's a toilet which didn't used to be there back in the day. A lot of people complained about that when they just introduced the sprinters. There was no washroom. The only thing that bothers me that is missing on the sprinter still is that there is no table, a foldable table where you could for instance put your laptop or your books or your lunch for that matter. But otherwise I think it's more comfortable and more productive than taking an intercity. You also have access to internet just like in the intercity. That's pretty much the biggest benefit of the intercity. It's faster and it has a foldable table. I think if you like me enjoy the scenic aspect of a train journey I think it's actually quite comfortable to enjoy the therapeutic effects of a train journey. Have a little bit more space not constantly be crowded or rushing from a to b then the sprinter just offers that a lot more but yeah i do think that's quite personal and definitely also is related to your objectives of the train journey so let's discuss that when looking at what train to pick in your train journey in the netherlands i would look at what kind of traveler you are see if you're just a tourist and you would like to get as fast as possible from point a to point b then obviously the intercity is the fastest option however if you are a commuter or a business traveler then the sprinter definitely might be a better option because here you have power outlets you have access to internet it takes a little bit longer but honestly it is a very comfortable option so i think you can get more work done on a sprinter anyways if you would like to see more train journeys i've covered a lot of them in india so you can see if that might be something that you would enjoy too i've linked them down in the description below and feel free to watch more of my videos i will see you in the next one